Hey, this is Mike with the Grill Cleaning Pro, and uh, I was uh, watching some uh, TikTok videos over the weekend, and I got to tell you, a lot of videos make uh, the grill cleaning industry look like it is a easy, easy, easy industry to get into. Why wouldn't you want to get into the grill cleaning industry after watching a few TikToks, uh, TikTok videos um, of others cleaning their grill? Um, you know, the, the power of video editing where you get to see a 30 second uh, video of somebody spraying a bunch of crud into the grill and then, thir you know, a couple seconds later it looks like it's brand new. Um, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. Um, it's made to look like it, the industry, the grill cleaning industry is super simple to get into. But if you've never cleaned a grill, I can guarantee you you're going to struggle to clean a grill. You know, if you kind of dive into some of the comments um, and questions uh, in these uh, uh, TikTok videos, um, you'll you'll see everybody um, who owns a grill wants to know what these professional grill cleaners are using, and some of them will tell you what they're using. But now, if you go off and just try to use that product on your own grill, you're probably not going to uh, get the same result. Um, but if you kind of dive into quite a few of the videos, mo in most cases, um, you can start to peel back the, um, you know, peel the onion back and, and um, see some comments um, or, or replies from these uh, grill cleaning owners, you know, that, 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 yeah, they sprayed that stuff onto the grill, but they had to do it four, five, six times. And the reality is, is it took them four or five hours to do. Not always, sometimes it does, but um, uh, it took them a, a while to do. And the reality is, is when you see these videos um, that are 30 second clips of dirty grill, spray it, open the, close the lid, open the lid and woo, it's nice and clean. Um, it's all a lie. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of labor, a lot of uh, scraping, scrubbing um, to get it that way. So, if you're new and if you're if you're new and trying to think of, of of getting into this industry, just know that the TikTok videos are not a um, a good representation of what the actual work is going to be like. Um, there's going to be days where some some grills are are really easy and will clean up very easily, uh, just like you see in those videos. And then other days, you're going to um, wish that you had never gotten into the industry. Excuse me, um, because the grill is just so stupidly difficult to clean. Um, I had one last week that um, it took me right about three hours to clean, maybe a little bit less than three hours, but. Somewhere in that process, I, I, I said, man, this grill is stupidly difficult to clean. It's ridiculously difficult and doesn't need to be that way, but it was just the fact that this person did not maintain their grill at all, um, didn't even bother cleaning it, and now they're expecting me to come in and, and you know make this thing shine like it was brand new again. Um, you're going to have those, so if you've, for me, a, a two to three hour cleaning is a long time for me. Um, if you're new in the industry, um, it, it might be a three to four hour cleaning might not necessarily be that uncommon until you kind of get your um, your routine down and, and you kind of understand uh, what to do and you're not thinking about every little process. So um, know that that is more common than it, it is for these little 30 second clips that just make it seem like it's um, uh, stupidly simple. Um, so anyways, don't don't rely on uh, the TikTok videos to um, make a decision if you want to operate a, a, you know, start up a grill cleaning business. Um, you know, you just know that, um, you know, initially at first, if you just start up uh, uh, off of those TikTok videos, going off, getting the, the type of uh, degreaser that they say that they use, um, you're probably going to struggle. 
just know that you're probably going to struggle. So um, hope that helped and, um, you know, uh, best of luck on your journey. And um, we'd love to have a conversation with you and, and see if we can't uh, um, help you along in your journey.